Well, ladies and gentlemen, the community has been doing backflips for a while for PS5 Pro, also for the PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility. Like the video if you want to see the PS3 backwards compatibility, I mean the real one, coming to PlayStation 5. Like the video if you want that, dislike if not, but we're going to be talking about a whole lot of shenanigans in this video, right? Because a lot of people currently are paranoid. Yay! We're going to be talking about it because the news just came out and a lot of people are looking like this, right? We're going to get into it because we just heard about the PS5 Pro. Now, apparently the homie Tom Henderson comes out as an exclusive. Is the PlayStation 5 Pro releasing in 2024? Question mark. Oh, shit. Oh. Exactly my point. Quickly after people were, were sent into coma and I'm saying it's not even that bad. And we found out that it's not even that bad. But initially that's how people were looking like because a lot of people thought that. So it's not coming out. But when you read the article, you find out that it, it means completely something else. We also got to talk about GTA 6 as well. And I got a bunch of videos that I want to share with you guys in this one. We're going to talk about PS5 Pro and then the PS3 backwards compatibility. Roll it. We're mainly going to talk about the PlayStation 5 Pro situation that's going on right now, about its potential delay. And if you can hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. First, yes or no, are you excited for the PlayStation 5 Pro? I'm excited to get... Yeah! Not really, but sadly, I would have to buy it though. Like, you, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, I guess these are good problems to have. But if GTA 6, if GTA 6, in my honest opinion, it should be 60 FPS even on the normal Sony Pony 5 and the normal Xbox, okay? It needs to be 60 FPS on PS5 and Xbox. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. But okay, if it's a 30 FPS, I mean, damn, homie, it should be. 120 fps i better get a bj uh from playing gta 6 and also bj on the side as well yeah. for owning a ps5 pro i need incentives i need incentives say it with me people we demand incentives we demand incentives if you're gonna charge us money you better give us the incentives okay you better give us uh, something uh you, you feel what i'm saying but because People have been saying, right, that the experts, apparently, they're saying that don't expect PS5 Pro to run at 60 FPS, GTA 6 at 60 FPS. We're going to get down to why the experts are saying that, but... Get hands on this thing, as I've already mentioned before, after everything we've heard about, but that's just me. What about you? So, comment below, yes or no, if you're excited for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, diving into the main story of the video, the PlayStation 5 Pro situation. Reading from Push Square, we've been writing about the PlayStation 5 Pro for years now, but the bottom line is that nothing's official until the thing is actually revealed. And with yeah. that yet to happen, as we hurtle towards August, questions are starting to be asked about the console's supposed 2024 release window. Up until now, countless sources have suggested that Sony is targeting a launch before the end of the year, but its continued silence on the matter, perhaps unsurprisingly, mm. making onlookers a bit antsy. Adding fuel to the fire, over the last 24 hours or so, reliable insider Tom Henderson has potentially hinted that the PlayStation 5 Pro won't release in 2024 after all. Yeah, and, and when he first initially put out his tweet, right, a lot of people read that and a lot of people people were sent to coma right after and yeah I, I understand why people were sent to coma because Tom Henderson has been very very credible he was the guy that leaked the Lucia Burna for GTA 6 call, call, call us different Call of Duty games he leaked stuff for Battlefield uh, as well uh, although his expectations were like really really high and because of him we, we started like climaxing as well essentially and, and yeah right like and he's also the guy that said that ps5 pro is gonna happen and when he put out that tweet a lot of people were sent into coma now to understand what is going on right now of course the pc master is they're like chilling back they're relaxing they're seeing like all uh, all of uh all of us the console peasants being like on the, <laughs> on the <laughs> uh in, in this situation right so yeah pc master is kind of chilling right now but uh we out here were like damn homie so you were the guy that leaked it and now you're actually putting out uh, statements like is it coming out like you're the one asking that is our line we are asking where is the ps5 pro, uh, uh, pro right we are the ones saying that is it coming out or not and now you're saying that is it coming out or not so yeah a lot of people were like oh damn like so is it not happening but he put out his article and in this one he says that so far at uh, uh, apparently as writing yeah he says that uh, admittedly the more recent discussions about the PS5 Pro missing its holiday 2024 release have been fueled by my own tweet. People understandably took a relatively passive comment as if I was implying the Pro would miss its holiday 2024 release or be cancelled entirely, but that isn't the case as of the time of this writing. So he said that. I want to also talk about the PS3 backwards compatibility in a second, but 
GTA 6, we gotta actually get down to that. In a when second. asked about the machine's long rumored announcement, Henderson simply replied, if it releases this year. Yeah, now, this are people what... reading way too much into a simple social media post? Yeah, probably. But Henderson's reputation means that many are already thinking he's heard some behind the scenes chatter. From where we're sitting, we wouldn't panic just yet. Sony in its current- uh, but, but right now he says that as of, uh, uh, as of the time of the writing, he never heard that. So we have an update to the story. But a lot of people are still questioning, right? A lot of people are still like, hey, is it, is it coming out, man? Is it not coming out? I think even Tom is like, oh, oh maybe can miss, uh, right? Because the, the reason being, Sony has not publicly announced it just yet. Now, uh, realistically, if they don't announce it in September at their PlayStation Showcase, if there is one, right? I mean, yeah, like it gotta happen. It usually happens uh, every like summer, right? But for the last, I believe, two, three years now, they have been uh, doing it every like September-ish. So if this September they have a showcase and if they don't announce it then, then I guess everybody would then expect it to come out like in 2025, right? Y you know what I mean? And I, I remember, if I, if I remember correctly, uh, when PS5 Pro rumors were going around, uh, uh, we also had rumors like, hey, GTA 6 is going to be 30, F uh, 30 FPS on it. Then the the specs got leaked out about PS uh, PS5 Pro, then Digital Foundry. now. Keep in mind, these are just rumors, these are just assumptions, but it's coming from Digital Foundry, they are very uh, notable, uh, people know them right, like I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are aware of them as well, they have a YouTube channel as well, and those guys are pretty credible as well, they, they know their crap, but it still doesn't mean that it's 100% set in stone, right, it doesn't mean that it's gonna 100% happen, but they said that if GTA 6 is not gonna be 60 FPS, if the Lucia Burnout cannot be run at 60 FPS, on the normal PS5, don't expect uh, the GTA 6 to run at 60 FPS on PS5 Pro either. Because of the specs, right? Because, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be super too much of a difference, essentially. It can still happen, but so far that's what they are saying, but check this. Form loves to just sit back and announce things out of nowhere. And while we are once again sprinting towards August and its much busier release schedule, that still leaves us with four months before the year waves goodbye. We wouldn't be at all surprised if a PlayStation 5 Pro was revealed in the near future before launching closer to the holidays. Still, this is another case of Sony's silence being enough to unsettle the PlayStation faithful. Mm. Is there a possibility that the PlayStation 5 Pro simply misses out on 2024 even after all the rumors and reports? We don't like Maybe. writing this, but Maybe. as always, only time will tell. So I saw this when it first went live, when you first posted the tweet, and I was going to talk about it on Friday because I didn't think it was going to start popping off as it did because I still think this thing is releasing this year. We haven't only heard from Tom Henry. It, it got out, right? And initially what we heard is that GTA 6, uh, by the wording of Take-Two themselves, fiscal year 2025, which was supposed to... Fiscal year, I mean, it was it's supposed to end on, like, what, March? 31st 2025 so when they said that uh one of their biggest release biggest they're gonna generate 8 billion okay billion with a b guys like like biatch you, know, you feel what i'm saying like breath b for breath b for billion Bruh. okay so b for billion b for breath okay so yeah they said that 8 billion <laughs> initially by fiscal 2025 so yeah ps5 pro and GTA 6 was supposed to come out. I mean, uh, PS5 Pro is uh, by, by, by the end of this year and GTA 6 was supposed to come out like early 2025, but now they have confirmed the fall 2025 and it can still be delayed to 2026. And PS5 Pro, I, I mean, now I wouldn't be shocked if it comes out like early 2025 or by the end of 2025, maybe. I guess their biggest reason to release that game, uh, uh, that console is gonna be about GTA 6 because I feel, uh, yeah, to be honest though, a lot of people gonna buy GTA 6 and PS5 Pro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people would also sell their PS5 and go get a PS5 Pro or rather trade it to get PS5 Pro because that's initially what I'm, that's what I'm gonna do as well. That's initially what I thought as well. Like, yeah, you know, why have PS5 and PS5 Pro just trade it, spend like an extra 100, 200 dollars more and get PS5 Pro that way, right? Uh, and, and I know, like, a lot of you PC Master Race, you're chilling on the sidelines, but sadly, guys, GTA 6 is not coming on PC, at least in the very, very beginning, right? But now we also have talks about PS, uh, PS3 backwards compatibility to something the Xbox Andes would laugh at, but guys, uh, if you play on Xbox, don't laugh, man, don't laugh, bro. Like, uh, the uh, PlayStation, we need the, we need the backwards compatibility too, guys. We need it too, man. Don't laugh, guys. Like the video if you want a backwards compatibility, bro.
the final story of the video, PS3 and PS Vita backwards compatibility. So, for a while now, we've been discussing PS3 backwards compatibility on the PlayStation 5, the ability to play those classics on a modern console. It's been rumored and reported by multiple people in the industry at this point, with the last one being talked about heavily being from Special Nick, who now has heard from his sources that Sony is set on bringing select PlayStation 3 games to the PlayStation 5. Jeff Grubb went a step further at that point to say he actually- What, what do you mean by select, bro? I want it all, bro. Bruh. I want it all, man. It's all or nothing, man. It's all or nothing. As a brown man, I demand the full backwards compatibility. I want it to the point where I take my Sony Pony 3 disc and shove it inside my PS5. And I want that second to play that, bro. Like the video if you agree, guys. Like the video if you she agree. expected PS3 emulation to launch earlier this year, but obviously that didn't happen. So it has to be in the near future, I would assume, at this point. But us getting PS2 emulation in June was a good sign for Sony's push to bring more classics to the PlayStation 5. Now, moving over to today's topic, Rithian is back again to discuss PS3 emulation. Oh damn, homie headbutted the crap. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know you could headbutt in Killzone. I but not only that, he brings up PS Vita emulation and also mentions launch timeframes for those emulators. Sources, okay. so this is what he says, sources, Sony Interactive Entertainment plans to update some PS Vita games exclusively in the back end to enable PSTV support for PS4 and PS5 backwards compatibility. So he's okay. saying that Sony is pushing for PSTV games, which are PS Vita games that got updated to support normal controller gameplay. These games should start coming to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. He added on to this, saying this as a reply to somebody else ps minis are on the way ps tv is in the works aiming for late 2024 ps3 is in the works aiming for late 2024 and ps pocket is under uh, I, I don't know if this guy's credible or not i don't know if anybody knows let me know in the comments or review so i haven't seen anyone mention late 2024 release for ps3 emulation i I is he glazing or was it a dude trust me was it revealed in his dream or was the or is the homie spitting facts i guess we're gonna find out very soon I personally was hoping that that would be the case because of Killzone's 20th anniversary. One thing I will say about Rithian recently is the guy was a bit iffy when it comes to PS3 emulation recently. Earlier this year, he said it was on halt and it's probably a PlayStation 6 feature. A month later, when Special Nick says PS3 emulation is in the works, Rithian changed his tune a bit about PS3 emulation. Now, I will say he does mention there are issues with PS3 emulation, even when Special's Nick, his room... Of course there is, man, with Sony, with the backwards compatibility. I don't know what it is with Sony, but like, whenever they heard the word backwards compatibility, whenever they heard the PS3 situation, they're like, duh, 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 duh. They, what? We want the backwards compatibility, bro. We want the backwards compatibility. The gamers uh, demand uh, backwards compatibility. Sony ponies demand the backwards compatibility. <laughs> The the actual PlayStation fans also demand backwards compatibility. We demand it. We deserve it. Give it to us, man. Rumor was getting traction. He still said PS3 emulation has issues, but him boasting about how he said Sony is still working on PS3 emulation last year is weird to say when he was literally talking a couple of months ago about how it was on halt. I wanted PlayStation 6 will 100% definitely have it. 100% definitely have it. Okay. <laughs> And listen, man, I also play on PlayStation, but guys, like, come on now, man. Like, we, we gotta ask for better, man. We deserve better, bruh. We deserve better, bro. Where are the games, man? And if you, and any Xbox Andy's laughing, you guys also deserve more, bro. You Like, yeah, Game Pass prices, what? They need to reduce the prices. You guys also deserve games, man. Yeah, Xbox, PlayStation, right now, like, both of them are slacking. They're lacking big time, bro. Like, damn, man. We in a really bizarre gaming timeline era, right? Because it feels like... No, seriously... The tech has been advancing. PlayStation and Xbox specs are very good. You know, they are, have been getting better and better. Computers have been getting better and better. Graphics uh, and technology is getting better and better. But where are the games, bro? Like, see, this is an Uncharted 3 game, guys. Like, this, like, okay, minus this bug, okay, minus that, that little glitch. Bruh. <laughs> this game came out in 2011. Oh, shit. Oh, Can you believe it, fellas? Can you believe it? And you're watching through our YouTube screen. So there is compression. And I'm not even full screen. I'm like windowed mode. Uh, and I have zoomed in a little bit uh, as well, right? So uh, it's actually good to uh, for the recording purposes, right? So I'm not even full screen. And I'm like watching this at 1080p. And it's not full screen. You feel what I'm saying? Like this game came out in 2011. It does look very good. The gameplay in this game, the story was amazing. And graphically speaking, not, not that bad not that bad see like back in the days they would really really push the envelope they would really really try their ultimate best to make the best games 
uh, possible. Now, they don't even give a damn about it. Like, with all this technology, with all the power of Xbox and PlayStation, games don't even look that good. And, and it, it's live service BS. Uh, we, we don't have that much content in comparison to what we were, uh, what we would get all the way back in the days, right? Y you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, where are the games, bro? to put a bit of shine on that for you guys but i do hope ps3 emulation does come out later this year and sony doesn't just give us killzone 1 on ps2 emulation and streaming for killzone 2 and 3 on playstation plus and calls it a day i hope yeah. that's not what we get if they do have ps vita emulation as well that would be amazing because then the whole killzone franchise would be playable on playstation 5 we already have killzone liberation for ps uh, psp with ps vita we could get killzone mercenary with ps2 we can get killzone 1 and with ps3 we can get killzone 2 and three and obviously we already have killzone shadowfall on playstation 5 that would be insane to be able to play all of those games but i mean listen a, a killzone's good but like damn man can a brother just get a backwards compatibility if these suckers just do that bruh it is joe over man it is joe over right <laughs> it is joe over but apparently speaking of some bad news guys for xbox we had a ton of it last night, man. Check out this video on the screen. We, oh uh, yeah, this is apparently wild. It's to do with PlayStation, Xbox, and Call of Duty, apparently once again. And also they cancel like the Halo show, right? And, and there's like a lot more other stuff that came out as well. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. This one is for my young bucks out there. Don't just the pom pom guys. Don't just.